Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with part one of Sim My Life. Uh, in this series that I'm starting, I'm going to be pretty much showing um, my life through playing The Sims uh, from a child to currently where I am in my life right now. So hopefully it'll be a bit of fun, it might be a bit interesting for you guys, and I also thought it would be pretty cool to look back on in a few years. Uh, to kind of see what I thought. Uh, but anyways, we're at my first childhood home. Or oh, actually, I lived in a different house uh, when I was born. And um, we moved to a more lush green country area, which was quite a break from the city, which is where I originally was. And my dad, if you watch the speed build already, you'll know that my dad actually built this house himself. He's quite a handy man here, Yaj. And... Um, yeah, so anyways, this is my sister Matilda. She is um, my oldest sister, obviously. She's a teenager. That's how we're starting her out. My dad, Yaj, and my mom, Penelope. <laughs> um, and then there's little Delicracy, aka little Madeline. And uh, I'm wearing gumboots because I used to wear gumboots. Everywhere. I actually would be nude in my gumboots, uh, but you can't have naked kid sims or toddlers. So all that age between toddlers and teens. Oh, it looks like Cassandra Goth is here to meet the family. That's exciting. Uh, let's get mom to answer the door. Oh my gosh. It's so weird having like, like calling the sim mom and dad. What? <laughs> Uh, also, if it's a little bit noisy in the background, I have a window open and a cool change has just come through. It was really hot today. Uh, so that was rude of me to just walk past her. If I saw Cassandra, wait, not Cassandra, Bella Goth in real life, I'd be like, oh, fan girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really hot today. So you might hear the wind Whoa, in the background, that cool Her change coming through. There's my mama. Oh, we've got some cheats on in here going, oh. Oh, part one of an LP is always so exciting. Alrighty, so my mom, uh, she's a very friendly lady. She's a very polite lady. Uh, she would definitely oh, sure. offer Cassandra a coffee or something or a cup of tea. That's how we do it in my house. Uh, so let's go to the kitchen. Usually people would come to the back door though. I might get my dad working outside because he used to always, he well, he still always is working on things. So let's get him to do a knife block because knife blocks are cool. Uh, he is great. He's kind of a master of all materials. He's a welder. He used to do wood carving. Uh, he can build stuff. He knows the basics of plumbing and electricity, electrician stuff. He, he's not an electrician or a plumber, so he couldn't do everything. But he kind of knows the basics, I guess. Just an all-around handyman. Oh, this is so what my mom would do. I love this. Let's take a photo. Penelope. Uh, okay, uh, right, so what would I be doing? I would probably be annoying my sister, um, telling a goofy story. Actually, I really loved animals, um, so I'd be talking about animals a lot. But even though we didn't really have iPads uh, when I was younger, they didn't exist. Uh, we had a Nintendo 64, which we played on, so I thought that kind of represented it. My sister's always been good at listening, um, so that's good. Just a good older sister. But I think what I would like to do is maybe go play in my room. I would apparently, apparently I was really quiet and I would just sit and play with toys the whole time. So I might go here. Um, you know what? I would probably, oops, I was going to say I'd probably show my sister what I was doing. Uh, but my sister's room over here. She has a water bed. She's really athletic. So she has all of her sports stuff down here and on the walls if I can get to the right view that I'm wanting. She's got all first ribbons because she came first in long distance running. She used to love Pat Rafter, the tennis player. So I have a soccer chick on the wall because that's all we have. And uh, trophies. She always had lots of trophies. Uh, and I never had trophies. I think I won a dance medal once because I did ballet for about eight years. Uh, study put away. Let's go here. Let's see if I can actually turn around and look like I'm teaching my teddy bears because I would lay out all my toys next to books 
and that would be, I guess, Heaven me day. pretending to be a teacher on like the chalkboard over here. I don't think I want to walk around anywhere. Okay, let's just go here for a little bit. And to the class. Uh, can I do anything other than cloud gaze? Maybe I can talk to them. Friendly introduction. There we go. I don't know why my mum would bring Bella into my room. That's not really what happened. Hello! <laughs> I feel like my mum would also give me a hug. She'd also discuss world peace. She's a very zen lady. She's all about being a good person. Uh, let's see, let's see. I want a hug! I want a hug from my mom! <laughs> Sandra just gonna take my book like it's your own. Oh, she's cleaning up for me, that's nice. Stop packing up my toys! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop it, I want them out! <laughs> oh my gosh, what are you doing, lady? That's my game! Just quickly, mum would, mum would give her a compliment. That was a nice hug, though. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, yes, getting his clay out. One time, we used to have these toys called Yowies, and they, well, they were actually chocolates. They were chocolate kind of creatures called Yowie chocolates, and inside them, kind of like a kinder surprise, you would find a Yowie character inside it. It was really cool because, um, I'm just thinking, let's do some painting or something. Let's carve a pumpkin. Just because it's Halloween. And what was I talking about? I've literally forgotten what I was talking about. Oh my gosh. I can't remember. That's so weird. What were, what was I talking about? We, oh, yowies. Jeez, that was weird. That was like a total brain malfunction. Uh, so yeah, yowies were really cool. They're like kind of surprises, little animal chocolates. And then when you opened the inside up, you'd get a yowie inside. So I collect, collected them and you could get actually like Australian animals inside them. So eventually I had like all of these possums and koalas and kangaroos and joeys and stuff. So my dad made this little world for them to live in with like made out little uh, sticks and stuff and trees and like had caves and there was like a desert environment on just like a wooden board plus more of an ocean environment and then like foliage and stuff. It was really cool. He just did it with like dirt and sand and sticks and it was awesome. And he made this tree from bark, like a dead tree that they could live in. And I just remember it was so much fun. It was awesome. But my parents always encouraged me to, uh, to be really creative, I think. Um, very loving parents too, so I'll express some love. And uh, my dad was all about ideas, so... Oh, she's off. No worries. How are all of our needs going, actually? Oh, I need to go to the toilet. Uh, did I ever wet myself? <laughs> hmm, not that I can remember. No. No, I don't remember. Uh, I think I wet the bed, like, once when I was, like, really little. <laughs> not recently. Let's make that clear when I was really little. Um... Might get mum to make something. Mum used to make sticky date pudding that was pretty good. Um, Dad, are you gonna are you gonna come over here and share some ideas? There we go. He's an ideas man. It's like, why don't you put a candle in the pumpkin? Actually, you know what? He would probably light the candle for me. Oh, too late now. He'd be like, well done. What a great pumpkin. The other thing my parents let me do is have a lot of like creative mess around the house. Well, not for too long, but they wouldn't mind me being messy for a little while, which was nice. Uh, my mom was is really into health and well-being. Let's get Let's make some brownies in to represent the uh, sticky date pudding she used to make. 
What's my sister having here? My sister's one of those people who don't really get hungry that often, so you have to remind her to eat. And she would never eat chips, actually. I wish I was one of those people. I'm always hungry. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, look! Deligracy going to the toilet! That was cute. That was cute. Everyone can watch me go. Lovely. Uh, now, 4.16pm was probably getting close to my bedtime. Uh, but I do remember I would play... Uh, we had a trampoline out the back. And there was like a tree with a ledge in it. Let's see if I can kind of create it here. Uh, let's go to shell. Shell. Shelf. Shelf. Here we go. So my dad got a plank of wood. I think it was my dad. Yeah, it would have been dad. Um, let's do move objects on. There we go. And just near the trampoline. Oh no! What? You've got to be kidding me. The nine key isn't... Does the nine key not work on shelves? Oh, that'll be the problem. Uh, that's okay. That's actually not a bad idea if we just use like a coffee table or something. Like this bad boy. Let's pop. I think it was more of a grey wood because it got stained by the rain. Whoa! That's a little bit overkill. So anyway, my dad put this like wooden ledge up in a tree and we'd have the trampoline uh, below it. It would climb up on a little ladder. It's a shame we don't have ladders in the game. I might do that because um hmm trying to make it not be visible too visible the legs. That's okay. So we would actually we had this ledge up here and a few boys who were older than me jumped off this ledge onto the trampoline. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. That's so naughty. I never did that. I wasn't much of a daredevil child. I was like the kid who, I think I was more the kid who just got scared of doing um, crazy tricks and stuff. So I didn't do any of that. I didn't really do tricks on the monkey bars or anything. That sounds really boring, but I think I did the waterfall trick. So I did a little bit, but I wasn't doing anything crazy. I'm just putting some toys up here uh, because I think I would take my toys that way up the tree, which was pretty fun. And uh, I had long hair. I had really long hair back in the day. Um, but my mom actually cut my hair into a bob and it was so sad. Like still to this day, I'm like, why did you cut my hair into a bob? Are you crazy woman? <laughs> Cause I have this theory, unless you have hair that naturally grows really well or really quickly, which I don't have, uh, it's really hard to grow your hair when you're older. Like if you, if you want your daughter or son to have long hair, grow it as a kid. Don't let them cut it until they're older and then they can decide if they want it or not. Cause I swear I had my one chance and now it doesn't grow. It just doesn't grow anymore. Uh, loved the monkey bars. I used to, did you guys used to do that thing where your hands got blisters in them from using the monkey bars so quickly? And, oh, Papa D. Hi. Hi, hi. Hey, Yaj. And talk about toys. Who's about candy? Hmm. What would I do? I'd probably... Oh, yeah. Dad loves photography, actually. We should get a new camera. Beg for new toys. That was something I'd totally do. Um, oh, where's... How's Mum's brownies going? Oh, yum! Mm-mm-mm. Uh, we'd probably have... I've never had mac and cheese as a home-cooked meal ever. Mac and cheese, we can only really... The only mac and cheese I've ever had is, like, mac and cheese from the supermarket. And Dad would go for a brownie before dinner, and Mum would then be like... I don't know. Maybe go get a bit angry. Uh... Not really yell at, but just be like, why did you do that? Because of course I would do exactly what dad did. And then mum would be like, why? Look what you've done. 
Uh, so I'd probably enthuse about the brownie together. He's like, sorry. <laughs> that makes sense. My sister was kind of going through that awkward teenage stage when she was in her room a lot, I think, or just hanging out with friends. She and her friends were pretty funny. Uh, oh, I remember one day. This was pretty funny. Oh, I need a friend. I need like a young friend in the, in in this game. Let's um let's run out and meet Alexander Goth. He seems pretty cool. I'd like to be friends with him. Uh, he's like, oh, I'll come back then. And who's this? Wait, pause. I can't see. And no name. Oh, Katerina. Katerina or Katrina? Katerina. Okay. Um. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I did have a funny story with a friend, but I don't think I'm going to be able to reenact it with The Sims. Uh, I think we'll, we'll get to that a bit later. I'll put it in my remember to put in the LP list that's on my phone. Because I think I'm just going to continuously just keep remembering stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. One second. Okay, it's in the list. It's in the list. We'll keep going back to that. Okay, I never really like flirted with boys. I didn't want a boyfriend when I was little. I thought it was more boys had cooties kind of thing for me. <laughs> I liked boys though. Boys were nice. Oh, look at that beautiful ray of sun. Let's just try and get our relationship up. Uh, just play a bit. Oh! Oh, new friend. Let, let's make friends with you two. So I like Alexander Goth. I want to make friends with this girl as well. Is that Katerina? Oh no, that's Olivia Spencer. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Well, we didn't really hang out with you for very long, but no worries. It's going for a stroll. She's like, hey, what up? talk about toys I'd be talking about my collection of beanie kids or beanie babies you guys probably call them in the UK in the US uh, and other places in the world get to know we're gonna be best friends oh yum nacho cheese quote cartoon character mm. favorite cartoons I'd love you guys to comment down below what your favorite kids cartoons were because I have so many that I remember. There was this one show called Insectors that no one seems to remember. And it was the best show ever. Uh, it was like the first animation show I'd ever seen. I liked Okie Doak. Okie Dokie. Okie Doak. Uh, Sailor Moon. Rugrats. Who didn't like Rugrats? Play School. All the good stuff. Captain Planet was pretty sick. Uh, not all of you guys will know these shows. But uh, some of you will. They're awesome. Oh, my sister wouldn't be sitting on the same couch as my mom. Mm. My sister has this thing that <laughs> she gets frustrated when people related to her, such as my mom, dad, and myself, mm. are chewing. I don't know. It's one of those, like, things that... Like, you know how you don't like how your family members smell? Um, I think it's, like, biologically to prevent incest or something like that it's kind of like the same thing i think um all righty so mom made this maybe we should call to meal everyone although no one's really hungry people are just tired oh my gosh it's definitely past my bedtime and my dad would be like where are you so would my mom so call over Although my dad's always had this, uh, very, uh, he's always been interested in stars and space. It's another one of his many interests. And so, oh, it's gone. The stargaze option. Maybe teach valuable lesson. Um, so he's always said or told me to look up at the stars or 
if there's like something special going on, he'll still call me and be like, you know, there's an eclipse or to go outside or something like that. Or there's amazing, an amazing full moon. Um, so that's pretty cool. Trina Simsei, Bartushu Nabe, Greenly Bay. Is probably telling me about space or something uh -huh. like that. Did you know the red star in the sky? Or the stars that don't sparkle are planets. Did you guys know that? And the red one is Mercury. The reddish colored star. Uh, that's close to the moon or something. He's going for another brownie. That, that's probably a typical dad thing. Uh, and while dad was all like chill and you know... Let's just like hang out. Mum would be like, it's time for bed. She hasn't had dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> so mum would be calling me over. And dad would be like, yeah, better go in. Be like, I made a friend. Her name's Olivia. All right. Where's the fam? Mum's always been super engaged with what my sister and I have been doing so she definitely know everything about my sister and I so and she'd boast about us too oh what are these guys not even related did I forget to oh no that's weird oh the dishwasher's going fun I'm still not really used to that uh, <laughs> that animation. Yerno unga. All right, I better quickly eat something. I definitely <laughs> wouldn't be sent to bed without having Wabarani something to eat. Uh, Wabarani. Ever, Wabarani. even if I'd been naughty. That's Bad something that Shimara. never happened. Or Grinoi. if I missed dinner. <laughs> never got grounded either. Uh, my parents Duke. didn't believe in that. Bluffy. Where's the sink? Did I not put a sink in here? Uh -huh. Where's the sink? Oh my gosh, the wind is like howling outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm assuming you guys can hear it because that is super loud. Super duper 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 loud. Mm -hmm. Avenue Smishy. There we go. <laughs> Let's pop that in there. Well, put the brownies seen. in there so dad stops eating them. And uh, where am I? Oh, I'm just sitting by myself at the dining table. Cool beans. Dad's in the correct bed. That's good. Mum would probably... Actually, I never remember Dad going to bed or Mum going to bed before me ever, really. They'd always be still awake. Uh, but it's definitely well past my bedtime now, so I think... I'm going to go to bed. I'd always be tucked in. Let's see if these beds actually work. Oh, I'm so annoyed that Cassandra packed up all of my books and my toys. <laughs> she packed up my classroom. Oh yeah, it does work. Sweet. And my mum or dad would would have tucked me in. Can you? Oh, I wish they could have tucked me in just then. Oops, don't wake me up. Alrighty, well, that's uh, the end of the first part today. Uh, at least that's the introduction to the LP. Let me know what you guys want to hear about, what you guys uh, are enjoying in this LP. So far, even though like it just got started, so there's not too much going on yet. But um, I look forward to really sharing more with you guys. It's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, anyways, I hope you are all having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>